Hi, welcome to my channel, Imperfect Women of God. Yes, I'm wrapped up in my clothes, my covers. Um, I had my heater on, but I turned my heater off so I can be able to, you know, do this video. Um, yes, I did. Um, I guess you would say story time in a way. I know that's what some YouTubers put on there. Story time, like, no, this is real life. I don't. This is real life. Um, yes, I quit my Chick Fil A job, and I'm looking for a better job that pays more. Because I found myself working 50, 48 to 57 hours and wasn't really, and wasn't still, I was making enough to pay rent, but I wasn't making enough to pay other bills, if that makes sense. Um, so now I'm looking for a better job that at least pays like 10 to 11 to like $16 an hour so I can be able to just pay, pay rent and pay bills, you know, and be able to save to where I can be able to provide myself a car so I can be able to get myself around as an adult you know in this world people like to judge you because of what you do um they like to define you by what you do in this world you know which is you know it gets out of hand sometimes because if they see you have a nice job and money that's all they see you as you know or if they see you as a pastor it's like they don't even see you as a human being if that makes sense it's like people see you but they don't see you just because i work at chick-fil-a doesn't mean you should look down on me or feel as if I should do something better with my life or oh you should go to college I've heard it all oh my god people it's like people always feel the need to get their opinions and they like oh you don't listen when I give you op my opinions to you like no because this is my life oh you don't like being told what to do I'm fine with being told what to do otherwise I wouldn't even be following the Bible I wouldn't even be following God in general if I didn't want if I didn't like to be told what to do it depends on who the person is honestly um because you can't be blinded yourself and li living in a sinful way and then want me to follow you as a person. It's not happening. I'm not following you. You're living in sin. I'm not following you. You don't know better. But yet you want to drag me with you. Mm -mm, I'm not following you. I'm just going to be 100 people. I'm not following you. I'm not doing it. That's just how I've always been. Like if you ain't no good, I'm not following you. It is what it is. Um, is. I'm not taking your advice because you won't even take the godly advice someone gives you when they trying to lead you in the right path you won't even do that you just won't budge but you want me to walk that path of wickedness with you if that makes sense which is full of greed and selfishness and self gain um i just want to be able to make money so i can be able to just pay rent and help my mom pay bills and stuff just simple little things it's not even like well i want to make money so i can buy nice stuff all the stuff i buy is i'm a natural type of person so all the things i buy is like Shea butter, things like that that last for like months and months and months. Like rose hip oil for my face because I break out and I have acne scars and it's helping, you know, getting rid of those acne scars. Especially when this dry weather in Georgia is so dry and cold and it's either dry in the summer or dry in the winter for me. I feel like it just dries my skin out and I have to keep putting oil on my face. People don't be afraid to put oil in your face. They have oils out here that do not clog your pores. Also, so that's just an update with my life, you know. I left because it was I left Chick Fil A because it was just messing with my mental and also it was interfering with me reading my Bible because I was so tired. I come from work and I'm just passed out, sleep. My feet are aching and it's like, ooh, I was just so tired. Like it was people would text me and be like, you want to hang out? And I'm like, I'm too tired to do a nothing. Like when I'm come home, I am tired. When you're sitting there working two or three jobs and stuff like that, you are tired. You have no time to do nothing. Like. I feel like I have more time now. I'm clean up the uh, apartment and not saying it was dirty before. You know, just tidying it up because, you know, I'm a neat freak. Something can be clean and I still try to make sure it stays super clean if that makes sense. You know, and just, you know. So now I'm applying for jobs and stuff like that. I'm thinking about going back to Zaxby's. Um, most people would be like, oh, don't. Somebody had told me, don't go back to Zaxby's. That's, uh, you're lowering your value by going back to Zaxby's or going to another fast food place. You're lowering your, um, that's not it's, it's below you yeah that's why i keep getting out of people it, it's below you you shouldn't want to work that type of job a job is a job to me people just i feel like people look too deep into stuff they feel they so scared of the what the world is going to do or what the world is going to say or how the world is going to judge them but they want you to be like self-conscious and just like them like oh let's be self-conscious like me and be afraid of what the world's going to say about you like i'm glad i got bullied because it made me more resilient and it also made me not give up not care about what people have to say like it's i don't care it's getting to the point where it's like uh, and it's like like not in a mean way it's more like 
you're living in sin and you're wicked, but yet you want me to care about what you have to say when you're when I'm but when I say something is wrong and oh you're being judgmental or and I'm not even judgmental person, so when people say that, I'd be like, Well, I'm not even judgmental, so you're the last person to I'm the last person to come to with the judgmental Christian stuff, okay? Like, don't do that. Don't come to me. Oh, you're being a judgmental Christian. Yes, you are. Like, I'm not. I'm Because I'm telling you what you're doing is wrong, I come off judgmental. I, me, personally, I would love to have people in my life that would tell me what I'm doing is wrong. Because they'll make me a better person. It's like people don't want their real rawness. They want their fake stuff. Their lovey-dovey stuff, you know? And that's how it is at work. It's not... People can be fake. You know, people can stab you in the back, and then you have. It's like when you're at work, you have to deal with worldly people and their wicked ways. You have to learn how to not to conform to their ways and get caught up in that mess and drama that they come with. Because at work, people come with the gossip and the drama. You know, and it's like every time I go to work, it's always some dude trying to like me or trying to be with me. And it's like I don't give it a time of day. It's like I mean, I think I'm in a place in my life where I'm very content with just being by myself. I've always been like that anyway, honestly. I've always been like that. That's why when I would date someone, I felt alone in the relationship anyway because I felt like they weren't on my level spiritually in a way. So it was kind of hard for me to completely give my all to someone. That's why I've never been in love because it's very hard for me to completely give myself to someone that I know isn't right for me or not on that same. I wouldn't even say I don't want him to be on completely the same level, but I'll, just on the same wavelength, if that makes sense. Same mindset in a way, you know, where he's trying to better himself and be a better God fearing man, you know, and he understands what he needs to work on and he's willing to work on those things. He's not stubborn about it, you know. I feel like a lot of people are like that when it comes down to jobs. They be stuck on those jobs. They be stubborn. They don't want to leave those jobs. They look at you crazy for leaving because they're willing to stay for a job for 10 or 20 years that treat you like crap, that dog you out. It's like staying in a relationship with a man that abuses you, you know. When it comes down to bad jobs that treat you like crap, enslave you, and you just stay there because of the money. We can go to a better job that still pays the same amount that doesn't have you working so much, if that makes sense. I don't know. I just, like, I used to, um, like, older people used to say, work smarter, not harder. Because you'll work hard, see your check, you're not making nothing, and then you'll feel like a fool. That's how these companies and this how people work in this world. You don't want to keep. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those people, I'm a hard worker. <laughs> You know, because at Chick-fil-A, he actually did. He was saying he was going to give me a raise because I was a good worker. People recognize I'm a good worker, you know. But I try to be smart about how I work, if that makes sense. I don't try to push myself too far. You know, because you can end up hurting yourself or anything at these jobs. And they would not care. They'll be trying to see ass if you're going to come back. Are you going to come back to work? I know you broke your leg. <laughs> That's the jobs we work, man. These are the jobs we work. That is crazy to me. Amazon, man, a lot of people have been complaining about Amazon saying they're falling out because they're not hydrated enough. And it's like, everybody keeps saying, go to Amazon. They pay $15 an hour. Well, is that worth my sanity to go to Amazon? To go to Amazon, work myself to death. Yes, I'm part, I'm actually going to be making some good money. So that's a good thing. But they won't even let you use a bathroom. And they say they take points off of you for using a bathroom? You can't even do, like, human things? Like... <laughs> They don't want you to bring any phones, so you gotta leave your personal items in a locker. And then people are saying people are stealing stuff out of people's lockers. So what's the point of getting a locker if you're gonna go in there and steal my things? It's like things like that is making me not want to work at Amazon at all because it's like I don't, I'm not okay with people, you know, stealing stuff. I mean, who is like <laughs> you? That's your personal items, and you're gonna go in there and steal my stuff? I'm sure y'all probably be like, why she got two blankets on? I know I'm weird. And I think it looks kind of cool, actually. Woo! But anyway, that's all I have to say. I quit my job, and I'm just chilling. You know, I'm looking for a better job. I don't want people to define me by what job I have. I'm just making money to provide for myself and help with my mom so we can pay bills and we can, you know, move to a better apartment because these people these days with these apartments are trifling. You know, we want to get in a, we want to move into a small house. Now, we tired of apartments. Apartments are horrible. They be having roaches in Georgia. It's a mess. You have to deal with the hot messness, the ghetto -nism. It's just a mess. I ain't have, I don't have no time for it. I think I'm in a place in my life where I just don't have time for the foolery and the foolishness, if that makes sense. It's too much chaos going on in this world to be sitting here getting caught up in some mess. That's all I got to say.